very quick process, very non-invasive, and that will give us an immediate estimate of how healthy or how stressed these animals are. And that's really the main uh, focus of our research, is to try to understand the impacts of stress on sharks. Um, so you can see some of them will come right up because they think they may be fed. Uh, but for the most part, these animals are very cooperative. Uh, these animals are not on display. These are strictly used for research. So it's pretty nice to have, you know, and there's a whole other tank I can show you too. It's pretty nice to have these many animals available to us here at the Angle Aquarium. So you never find these guys in New England, except, you know, here. Um, these are native to the Great Barrier Reef, Indonesia. And uh, that's another great thing about our research is we're using some local species like the dogfish, the sandbar shark, and then we're using a species that has a completely different biology, which is located in a different part of the world. So it kind of broadens the range and the uh, implications for the work that we're doing here. And it really blends in well in the coral habitat, which is not, you know, on display here, but you can see um, that that animal is definitely adapted to a, a bottom-dwelling lifestyle. It actually walks on its fins, which is kind of cool. It doesn't swim uh, as much as other uh, sharks do. So this is the iStat. This is the portable uh, diagnostic tool that I'm using in my research here. And this is actually widely used in veterinary medicine and uh, mammals. So you can imagine if you can get a bring this out on a boat with you, you can get an immediate result or an estimate of stress or health for an animal. So it's a really valuable tool, and that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to test this with sharks and uh, generate some data that can be uh, used in the future here. So, say I have blood in here, from a shark, and I'll just inject it into this cartridge here cartridge right into the ice net like this. It'll run for about two minutes and right away I know what's happening inside that animal. The other method of doing this is taking a blood sample and using it on a uh, fetch top animal. 